Welcome to TNT Amusement Showroom. Today I'm doing a Todd's Tips that should be able to help out a lot of people. I'm actually making this video just for someone who bought a class of 81 from us and it's actually in a college and the buttons are sticky. It sounds like somebody poured a beer down it or something. But I'm going to make this video to show you how to clean the buttons real easy and you can do this to any game. Most control panels on arcade games are held down by two or three suitcase style latches. Now, you don't have to see them. You reach up and you feel for them. In this case there's one here, one here in the center and one on the right. When your fingers touch it, touch the latch, believe it or not your brain will understand and figure out what it is and it will allow you to actually unlatch it. I'm not kidding you. So when your fingers touch it you'll understand what they are. I'm going to show you what they look like once we open this up. Once you get the control panel unlatched, oh you know some control panels are held down by a couple wing nuts like asteroids. The old asteroids, the older games tend to be wing nuts or bolts but almost everything were latches. The whole control panel will lift up and off the machine. If it's sticking a little, and you definitely got the three latches undone, it could be the beer that's sticking it. Once you get it unlatched, you just unplug the control panel. Almost every machine they ever made has a single, has either one or two plugs. Control panel is off. Now you can take it away from the machine and fix it. Now this one doesn't have any sticky buttons, but we're going to take it back to Wallace. And he's going to show you how to do it. Okay, let's go. Come on. We'll take this. Ah, speaking of Wallace, he's here to partake in a coffee, aren't you, young man? Yes, sir. He's a man of few words. Yes, sir. Well, I should have one, too. And today's mug is Knobel's Amusement Park. <laughs> Yes, today's mug. Oh, I got mugs. Wallace, should I show my mug tray here? Look. Mugs. I got all these different mugs from all the different places I've gone to. So you come and visit, and I'll let you pick out a mug. So I guess what we'll do is we'll have a brief respite, and then we'll pick up in the back after Wallace has got his... Uh, coffee cup and get himself fixed up. We will see you in a moment. Ah, coffee and happiness and Wallace, look what I have for you, baby. <laughs> uh, you're here to, bug, to bug me again, right? <laughs> well, actually, there's nothing wrong with this control panel. So what is it doing here? Well, you, we're going to show a customer how to clean the buttons, how to take them apart. Can, uh, you, can you tell them what you do? Easy as pie. Good. First, you take the switch off. Take take this, you know, the So it just pops off, off, right, pops, Wallace? It just pops off. All of them is the same. Good. And then you take the, the nut off, off here to get the button out. And uh, there we go, and it pushes straight through. Good. Now, it looks okay. like the person then could clean around the control panel first. Yeah. But look the at board, the button You now. take all the take all the buttons out and then you clean the, the top mm -hmm. of this off. Good. And then you take the button apart. Now this like one's an that. easy one. No tools. See? Pop it out. Spurt your cleaning stuff on it. Wipe it down. You know you squirt on you. You it's, wipe it down. You gotta get the crud out of it. Yeah, you gotta get the crud all out down the inside and and all around here, make sure you squirt the cleaner, you know, to clean that up. And then you put it like this, and it pops back in. You right. go through, through, through all now, of them. In some cases, you have to make sure that the, that the spring doesn't fall out. Now, some of them have a set screw. Older switches. Yeah, we'll do. do you see how this is mounted in? You have to take that Phillips screw out mm -hmm. and slide it out. And then the rest of the button will come out once that screw is out. Now, these buttons, if you're game, now the Class of 81 doesn't have it, but these buttons are easily equal, or easy to fix. 
It's just a matter of while, so if, can take you pop your, that open real quick? You take a pair of pliers. Now look at this toolbox. This is everything. what 40 years of tools, you get to know exactly where everything is. So while you take a pair of pliers, is. you pull this little doofy off, and it pops out. And you don't just forget like, to lose that spring, so you yeah. gotta... So you like, make sure you keep your hand on the spring. No. <laughs> keep your hand on it. Don't and you go through this, that spring. the same cleaning process as you did those. And you put it back in. And uh, you put the, uh, the little washer back yeah. in. Hey, Wallace, this will show you where the credit button is. See, all that will clean up once you take that spring out and open it up. But what's probably happened is once something gets in there, it gets stuck down. So, Wallace, yeah, take this, that one. This stuff, you know, it, it, it clogs the button up. You know, and it won't work. And pull that off, like I said, and you pull it out. See this? Send that to forensics and see what's on there. Uh, you probably don't want to know. No, we don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, I use steel wool to, to, to clean this because just by wiping it with a rag won't do. So you gotta. It's really cruddy. It's really That's cruddy. Years of crud buildup, and it's even in there too. See what I do here while I'm cleaning that. I squirt this and let it sit so it'll be, you know, soaking in. Then I go here and, and clean this off. You can see it's coming on, but you. And soon that'll be as white as a ghost. Now the, con the joystick here. Yeah. See how clean it came up? That looks nice, Wallace. See, it's, it's getting there. Yeah. If, yeah you know, you actually, gotta... you can finish that because that's for the special forces. <laughs> oh. But look. Right here, Wallace. What about the control, the joystick on this? This is a micro switch joystick. Uh, if it's right. now, the customer said that the joystick was sticking. It could be in here. Do you see that ring inside here? Right there, that's flopping around. Once it gets under there, then it means you probably would have to take the joystick out completely. Yeah, that in order to get that, you had to take this out, not just the handle. You got to take the whole thing out because it's in between this and the control panel. Now, if you're lucky, like this, I'll bet you that knob will pass through the hole. So I'll bet you you could leave this on, maybe, and simply I... take these four screws out, these four nuts out, and take that whole panel off. No, no. Now, if you're thinking about getting this through that control panel, I, I don't, I, don't, I think it might be a little too big, but. Yeah. In, the, in any event, you have to take this this, this off. You have to take this whole mechanism off. In order to do that, you have to take this out first. Now, if you can't get the screws out, what would you use? A crowbar or a machete? I throw it away. And get stick a new dynamite. A what? Stick a dynamite. <laughs> Blow it up. <laughs> and then, once you get that. The nuts off here, get the screws out there. These have to be cleaned up. See how, see how, see how, you know, take them over to the wire brush and shine them up. They, when, you know, after they, they'll look something like this. That's what they Not should like look this. like. Yeah. I guess that's from the hands doing this for yeah. years and years. Mm -hmm. So the buttons stayed nice and clean, but the, the tops of those screw heads did not. So this is just one of the many things you do, isn't it, Wallace? Yep, one of the many things that I do. I got a, I got a bunch of them. <laughs> Wallace, thank you for letting me take up your time. Now put, put it back together. Yes, sir. <laughs> Another Todd's tips. Ooh. Todd's what? What did you do, change cameraman? I thought Frank was going. That wasn't Frank. Oh, that was you all along? Hey, you didn't hear me burping and shaking the camera, did you? Uh, I, knew I, I didn't know I had See, a different Kirk's camera. See, doing man. it now. I have things to do. Goodbye. But uh, it's still the same coffee cup. Good night.